Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a very quick tutorial on how to hide your files, folders, programs, whatever in Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. Okay, so first off, uh, say you've got a new, say you've got a text document called Diary and you don't want anyone to see your diary inside because it's full of secrets and stuff and secret codes or whatever. <laughs> okay. So you've got this diary text document here and you don't want anyone to see it and say you've got it on your, desk, on your desktop or in a folder somewhere and don't want anyone to find it. So okay, we can do that for you. What you want to do is right click on it, click properties and then this should appear. Uh, Windows 7 and Windows XP, it may be different and you may have to search through, through the tabs until you find it. But what you want to find is, un is next to the attributes, you want to find the hidden option. So uh, when you tick that, click OK, and then here you go, it's uh, hidden. Now, uh, depending on your settings, when you set up um, when you set up Windows X, uh, Windows Vista, you may already be able to see hidden files and folders. You may not. I doubt you will. So normally, uh, as soon as you've just done that, it will just disappear. Okay, so just ignore the step we just did. So yeah, so now you can see it's completely disappeared. Yeah, whoa. Let's do it again with another document. Just so you can see how it will disappear straight away. Okay, so click Tribute, Hidden, okay. And then you go, it's disappeared again. Okay, so, okay, so now you want to find them to float them to, okay? So what I'll do is click on your, um, I don't know, say, just any, any place where you can access the toolbar. Uh, you, you want to click Tools, Folder Options. Now this may be different again in Windows XP and Windows uh, seven, but it's generally the same thing that you need to find there. It will be there somewhere. Okay, so say um, it's probably going to start off like this view. So you want to click on files and folders, and then hidden files and folders, and then where it says show hidden files and folders, tick that. Well, you know, click on it, and then click OK, and then here you go. There, they've appeared. You can read them. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, now you may have noticed that they're, you know, they're. Uh, strange colour, well you know they're kinda dim uh, that's fine, it just means they're hidden so if you wanna unhidden them, unhide them, I don't know what the correct word is but anyway click properties and then same as last time, untick it though this time click ok and here you go your two dimensional files now uh, one more thing I just I just need to say is um, when you do have uh, the view options that it does show hidden files and folders. You may find folders like app data in your set in your uh, user folder. You know, you may find these strange files and folders which you've never seen before. Um, and you may think, oh, I'll just delete this. It's taking up loads of room on my computer. Don't bother, okay? They are important files used by programs and the operating system, which is Windows, uh, XP, Vista, or 7, or whatever. So uh, trust me, you do not want to delete them. Uh, you'll know if they're you know, uh, important or not, because if they're hidden, you'll see it slightly later. Um, you'll probably have different folders, like these yours won't look black or whatever. But you know, you'll see it slightly later. So um, if you're not too sure whether to delete or not, then just do what you did before. But click do not show hidden files and folders. Click OK, and there you go. You can't see them anymore. Uh, and these will still be here as long as they're not hidden. So there we go. That's a really quick guide on how to. Hide full files, folders, programs, whatever in Windows, um, XP, Vista, and 7. And also, <laughs> I just remembered one quick thing. If you do it with a folder, it's just exactly the same thing. Same with the program, same with any other file type. It just does exactly the same thing, okay? Okay, so thanks for watching.